Hey there, my beautiful Squarespace friends. Let's go over another question that was sent in. This one was by Julia. Uh, she said, question, can you do a hover effect? Say, make the transparency of a background section image alter as you hover over it. Um, and something like this. So yes, you can, you can do this. And the code is relatively simple. So I'm actually gonna focus this, uh, this tutorial, not necessarily on how the code functions, but higher level, how should we be structuring our code in Squarespace? So there's the nice little effect. Um, so let's, let's look at it here. So this is basically the code that it is. First we target the section, then the background overlay that's within the section. And then I've added a transition on it. So this is just gonna transition the opacity. And now as I hover over it, we're gonna target the background overlay again and make the opacity be zero. So now the opacity of this is changing. Um, however, this code, if you just put this in your custom CSS area, it's a bit sloppy. It's hard to read and you don't really understand it. A better way to write this code is to break it out a little bit. It's all right for your code to be longer. It's not gonna slow your website down or anything. Make it legible for you. So what this code is doing is the exact same, but what we're doing is first we're targeting our section ID right here, and then we're putting everything we want to change within it. Okay, so first I set up the default states, and this is typically how I structure any type of code that that's, I might use more than once on my website. I wanna structure first the default state. What do I want to change always about this element right here? So I always want the section background overlay to have a transition. So th that's what this little transition effect is. I always want it. So that's our default state. And now let's change the hover state. So now I've created my hover, used my ampersand, which pulls in our data section ID right there. And as I hover over this, the parent right there, change the section background. So this is much cleaner code. It's much clearer to jump back into this and see, okay, what do I need to change? Maybe I wanna go back and change something. I've, I've added a title in up here, what this is. Pause. This guy up here, he forgot to tell you something. You need to be sure to replace the section ID in the code over here with the specific section ID of this section right there. So you need to be sure the section ID of the section on the page matches what you have in the code. And that'll be different for every single person. It's unique per page. So just be sure to replace that. This guy forgot to tell you that. I highly recommend that you sort of break out your code from uh, from just sort of throwing it all into the sort of structuring it and organizing in a way that makes sense for future you to go back and make changes and make edits to. It's a lot easier for me to go in and understand, you know, maybe I want this to be a slower delay like that, like 0.6 seconds. It's a lot easier for me to jump in and change this entire component rather than doing it this other way, looking in here and trying to understand how these two pieces of code connect. So there's just a little lesson, a little, little fun tip for you. Uh, let me know if this was helpful, if you want more like this or you want other types of tutorials, I'm here to help. I wanna create more. Uh, visit my website for all sorts of other fun goodies. Uh, and I hope you have a great, fantastic day.